there are links here. We continue with Zurapai Games this time. It's full moon and night, which is a continuation of the game we finished yesterday. So this might be fun. Let's check it out. A uh, link in the description. Each that you. At least I don't have to explain the title. <sighs> I looked up at the clear night sky, taking a breath of fresh air as I walked home. Ah, <sighs> what a nice night. Karen is said that go and get food, rushing me out the door before I could even get a word in. It was unlike her. What was with that? Whatever. It felt good to get outside and stretch my legs. Although... I wish Karen came with me. Then I wouldn't be talking to myself. <sighs> it's been a few weeks since Karen moved in. It's been one episode since Karen moved in. Living with her has been interesting. And despite having to satisfy her initial appetite, she seems to have settled into her new home. Except for today. She's been tripping over, running to things and jumping out her skin at the slightest movement or sound. Hmm. I hope she's feeling okay. It's probably nothing. Maybe she was just really hungry. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, yeah. Why else would she send me out for food? <laughs> ah, freak. I stumbled sideways, tripping over my feet and landing on the concrete with a heavy toot. Ow! Damn! Don't do that, man! I firmly shook my face at it. Oh. Yeah, you better be sorry. I stood up dusting off my hands on my pants. That's weird. I've walked past here hundreds of times and that dog usually doesn't bark. What's its deal? What's your problem now? It scampered back and forth along the fence, peering its head out as if to, do to look at something. I turned around and there it was on the horizon. A bright red full moon. It can be that. Wow, it's a full moon. It only happens... Actually, how, how, how often does full moon happen? I think it's super often, to be honest. You and I run in the evenings. If sky is clear, I, I see it super often. Anyway, is that your problem, boy? I heard that someone else can act strange at night with a full moon. Uh, it might not be just animals. Often becoming restless and anxious, as if to awaken to something primal within them. That or their owner didn't play with them enough, leaving them in an over-energetic mood. My mind began to wonder. Maybe dogs aren't really affected by the full moon, but their owners are? And because of... yes, sure, let's go into that bullshit theories. And because of that, they forget to take their dogs for a walk. How dare they? I gave the dog a pat on the head. You know, I wonder if the full moon affects those from the other realms, like demons and ghosts. That could be why some dog owners don't walk their dog, especially if they are from another realm. Did he just call himself a dog? <laughs> Shite! The dog's bark pulled me back to reality. I better get out of here before someone comes to find out what the barking's all about. I gave the dog one last pat before bending down the street, bending, heading down the street and continue to mull over my random thoughts. And 10 minutes later. As I approached the apartment, my thoughts turned to worry about Karen. I hope she's still okay. The more I thought about it, the more it didn't feel right. 
Maybe we should watch a movie tonight. That always cheers her up. But then again, she'd be too busy doing other stuff to watch it. <sighs> well, that would cheer her up too, I guess. <laughs> what am I worrying about? It's probably nothing. Even saying out loud, I wasn't convinced by my own words. That worry feeling remained. <sighs> Maybe I'll just talk to her after dinner and find out what's going on. It seemed like a better idea than any other. I walked up the steps, trying to suppress my thoughts as I pulled the keys out from my pocket. With a little fumble of the keys and doing my best to not drop the foot, I gave the door a good shove open. Karen, I'm home with the... Ah, oh, my eyes! What's happened? Yes, we walked into Karen, being affected by the full moon. Just as light overwhelmed my eyes, I could hear a mysterious voice laughing in the glow. Hey, 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 hey. I... Uh, what? Why do you look like that? Her clothing had somewhat disappeared, transforming to... The succubus outfit. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not that. That laugh. I tried to fight my inner desires, but I couldn't satisfy myself enough to hold it back. But now. <laughs> Why fight it? I didn't know what to say. Her entire body language had changed, almost like she was a different person. But there was one thing that I still recognized. Her eyes. Her eyes were filled with the intent. Ha 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 foo! I hate this laughter. Don't you think I'm good looking as a succubus? I mean, you are always a succubus, right? I naturally looked her up and down, half succubus. Huh? Of course, she looked beautiful as a succubus. What kind of question was that? B -b 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 but why do you look like that? The full moon. Her hands began to run gently, here and there, as she explained the reason. The full moon was calling on my body. What? It, it is like the dog thing, isn't it? The full moon had caused her full succubus power to surface, changing the sweet clumsy girl that was current to a full-fledged last field monster. Let's not call her a monster. The more I thought about it, the more I began to think. Did she even change at all? What are you thinking about, silly? I... Are you being mean to me? I... Uh, I... Um... Looks like I'll need to punish, punish you. <laughs> kind of slowly approached me. Every move she made was accentuated by the alluring sway of her hips and her bare leg and the bounce with her step. It was as she was tempting me. Oh shit. I'm in big trouble here. She smirked, her eyes locking with mine. This is bad. I couldn't look away. I could feel myself falling deeper and deeper into her eye as my mind became a cloudy haze of feelings. The more I watched her, the more I could feel myself being seduced by her beauty. I can't think. Wait a minute. Is this? I pulled myself away, attempting to bring myself to my senses. Karen was half succulent, except on nights like tonight, where her full powers manifest within her. Wait a minute. If she's a succubus at this, and this is her full power, that means she's going to kill me. The look in her eyes told me her mind was too preoccupied with thoughts of wild, of destroying my body to hear my revelation. Crap! I had to stay strong and think carefully about my next move. One mistake, and I may end up an overly satisfied dead man. What should I do? Oh no. Submit. Run away. 
Let's try to distract her. Look over there! I pointed towards the window. Look! There is a snack over there! Huh? What? Where? I ran towards her, grabbing her arms and straining her from behind. Whew. Got ya! <laughs> what are you even trying to do, my darling? You know what? I don't think I thought this through. I thought he would run away! I was so preoccupied with shouting, Here! Leg! Look there! A stack! To distract her. But I didn't realize. Mine had already taken over. I've got you! Oh no, I screwed up. Karen moved her face closer, kissing passionately, wrapping her tongue around mine. The taste of her sweet aphrodisiac kiss had taken over my body, sending my mind into a blur of desires. We are dead. Actually, it seems I survived! I'm some kind of prodigy when it comes to dealing with succubuses. We had a short rest before fiercely devouring last night's dinner. Doing everything we could to recover our energy and fluids again. <coughs> that was terrible, I know. I have nothing to burp with. Mm, that's rude. Mm, 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 mm. I finished eating, sitting up and moving to the desk to use my laptop. Splurge. Okay, I opened the browser and started searching for a solution to current succubus transformation problem. Karen sat back in the chair, rubbing her belly. Yum, 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 yummy. I'm full. Thank you. For what? Uh, for not. <laughs> for not being mad at me. Why would I be mad? Well, I didn't tell you, and. And I. I, I... You nearly killed me? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. Really? Well, no, but yes. You're so mean. But I understand. She's a succubus and accepted. Uh, accepting that meant I had to accept anything abnormal, especially if I was going to live with her. I quickly typed into the search engine. But how do you... Uh -huh. Not kill me? Yeah, that. I have one idea. I pointed the search results on the screen. What? What's that thing? We can buy you one if you're going to live together. Is it life insurance? That would be some crazy life insurance. No, 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 no. It's... What does it do? It's a... Uh... My ears burned with embarrassment. I'm saying a uh, bottom center. The and from the three options, middle option. I was expecting to explain something that I thought she already knew about. I guess you shouldn't judge by a book by its cover. What? Ah, uh, nothing. I mean, uh, it's a. Uh... She looked closer at the screen. <laughs> What? Yeah. A toy for girls, okay? For females. It, uh, well, vibrates. But why would it do that? And why does it look like you know what? Really? My head was on fire. Why the hell was I getting so embarrassed? Yeah, I don't know. After everything we've done together, you'd think it wouldn't be so hard. Yeah, something else should be hard, but ugh, let's not get into it. Are you feeling okay? Well, mm, you... Mm, <sighs> I leaned in to whisper into her ear. Why are you whispering? Whisper. <laughs> it what? A serious look on her face meant I had her full attention. Hmm. Seriously, you can use it like that? I continue to explain to her its purpose. Anytime I want to? And I can get any size? Uh, yeah. 
Sure. <laughs> Yay! She could barely contain her excitement. A portable magic toy just for me! I want a pink one and then then oh! She opened it as a drawer, grabbing her with one hand and the other actually trying to pull off my pants. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Take them off, I need to know how big the toy I'm using right now is. Settle down, I'm still recovering. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, come on, come on. Oh, I know. What do you think of this? I mean, I wish I could show you the credits of the game, but I can't. Because of the CG used there. <laughs> anyway, that was Full Moonlight. Full full Moonlight? No, it wasn't Full Moonlight. Oh, actually, it's Karen's. Okay, I didn't notice that. It was Full Moon Night from Zuripai Games. A short game. Hope you guys enjoyed. Actually, there is one more thing when it comes to uh, this franchise. It is on each that year of Zuripai Games. But I'm not going to sit to it, at least for the time being, because as far as I'm concerned, it is not finished. At least that's what the Ichidatio page of the game says. Uh, so yeah, if it is finished eventually, which I might find out about, because I do follow them, so yeah. And I'm browsing each every day, actually. Mm. Before going to sleep or, or, or after waking up, actually, so yeah. And it will be in the feed and so on. Uh, so yeah. If that thing is finished, we might get to it as well. But for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. This little bit of full moon night. Hope you have a wonderful day. Or maybe night. Have a wonderful day. And wait, I'm repeating myself. I have no control over what I'm saying. Oh my god. Ah, terrible, terrible. I just want to go to sleep, okay? Because it's the end of the weekend, unfortunately. Yeah, have a good one. Bye-bye.